Hi, it seems to me the straightforward solution here, if you don't want the brick to show on the inside, which I assume it does, I just opened the file, I haven't looked at it. And just glancing at it, yeah, I would expect that to be the case. Uh, since you can't make a custom wall style in uh, your software, I forget, I think you have Pro or something. I have it op open in X7, but I'm going to stay away from X7 type solutions. And what I would do is take the wall break tool, I think this has been suggested, Put a break there and a break there to, se to uh, separate this from the rest of the wall and then open that. You can open the dialog box and see how thick it is. We'll go to uh, wall types. And you can see the overall thickness is uh, 285 millimeters. So what we'll do is just set this to uh, uh, interior 4 something that you're not already using somewhere uh, I don't think it really matters and uh, <clears throat> of course if you're going to use interior 4 so somewhere else then uh, I guess that, that wouldn't work let's try uh, something that you're probably not going to use which is uh, interior something else. Uh, well, this isn't set up like most of the titles I'm, I'm used to. Hmm. I was expecting to see uh, Interior 6, Interior 4, but maybe in an, uh, a metric version those aren't available. And I don't know what other things you may or may not have used. Let's use interior solid, take a look at that. So you can go over here and uh, ch change this arbitrarily to 285. <coughs> and, well, we'll take that wall and line it up with the side walls. I'm just using the arrow keys. It's a possible solution. You know, looks better. Uh, what's that anomalous looking thing? Now I think that's a reasonable fix. And it's simple and straightforward. It may not, if you're doing a materials list, that wouldn't technically be very useful. But uh, <clears throat> you can always put 2D CAD over this to make it look like two walls, if you want. Uh, the way you do that is just go to your tools here and okay. This is just an example. You take that open its dialog box and give it a white fill. Make it solid white and go to the line cell tab and move it to the front. So it looks like you have two walls there. You know, you can center that up better than I did, but uh, <coughs> oh, okay. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the thing. That's what I would do. Uh, let me see, I forgot what software you have. Home Designer Pro, yeah. Uh, in, in Home Designer titles, you can't make custom walls, so I would use a, a wall that I'm not using elsewhere and fill this in, at least for appearances. And then if you want it to look like a double wall and just make it look like a double wall in plan view. <clears throat> but you can see some of those custom walls that you use that are, are causing a problem and that's uh, a main layer thing I think. Let's see, the, I, didn't, I didn't think of that till now. Let's see what you got. That is set as a main layer. No, that's correct. 
you can cover up things like that with uh, little skinny soffits, cover up that unwanted brick appearance and so forth. The software is really great and sophisticated, but it's not perfect. And, and if you want to, something to look perfect, then you just have to make it look perfect. Anyway, thanks for uh, your kind attention. I hope this helps you.